What's up, a Cinema Shogun here, and at the time of this recording, there has not been an arrest made in the Shanquella Robinson case. I repeat, at the time of this recording, there has yet to be an arrest made in the Shanquella Robinson case. I don't care what this person tells you. I don't care what that person tells you. I don't care what you hear from this blogger. And I don't care what you see on this YouTube channel. An arrest has not been made. And I have gotten so many messages telling me, hey, an arrest was made and I got kind of excited. And it turns out it's not true. It's not true. I know we want it to be true, but it's not. Now, I think some people are confusing the fact that an arrest warrant has been issued. Meaning that any moment now, hell, by the time you're watching this video, by the time YouTube gets done processing this video and they allow it to be uploaded, maybe someone will have been arrested. But at the time of this recording, no arrest made yet. And there's only one arrest warrant out there. Only one, not two, not six, one. And I think we all could basically assume that that is for Dejeuner. Now, I know there's so many rumors swirling around. A lot of people have been wanting me to get into like the deep details of maybe why this happened. They want me to dig into the drama that may have been going on between Dejeuner and Shanquella, but to me, it's all irrelevant. I feel like sometimes we have to stop going down that path and we have to stop asking some of those questions. And I know it's weird because in an investigation, in an investigation, you want to ask as many questions as possible. And I understand wanting to know a motive, but for many people, I feel like it's almost as if they're trying to make excuses for what happened. Like, oh, maybe Shanquella, you know, slept with someone's boyfriend. Maybe Shanquella and her boyfriend robbed somebody on the streets. And it's all this different stuff. And it's like, regardless. And another thing that people are throwing out there, oh, maybe Shanquella said something dumb while she was drunk and it didn't sit well with someone. Who cares? Who cares? At the end of the day, we saw the video we know Shanquella was not posing an immediate threat to anyone's life. She was posing no threat to Dejeuner and she got attacked. And even after not defending herself, she still continued to get attacked. I understand wanting to know a motive, but at the same time, I do also realize that a lot of these people, they don't care about a motive. They're looking for excuses. Because a lot of people don't see anything wrong with what transpired between Dejeuner and Shanquella. Yeah, I mean, of course, they didn't want it to end in a death. But these fights happen all the time. And people want to make excuses for this behavior because they participate in this behavior. So regardless if Shanquella said something mean, regardless if Shanquella did something kind of shady, in this moment, it does not justify you know, physical action. And I understand that that may be hard for some people to really, you know, grasp. And even me, myself, I can't tell you how I would operate in certain situations. But at this time, when I'm sitting here, I'm calm, cool, and collected. I know as the bigger person and as a smart person or try to be a smart person that you don't attack someone unprovoked. So regardless of what Shanquella did or said, in that moment, Shanquella wasn't posing any physical threat. So what happened to Shanquella is uncalled for. I think often in this society, especially nowadays, we think that certain words and certain actions should equate or, 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 or should end up in a physical altercation. Just because you say something, regardless of what you say, even if you say one of the no-no words, it shouldn't matter. I've seen that justified a lot in this country. Oh, this person said the word they're not supposed to say. So it's okay that they get brutally attacked. 
or this person was disrespectful. They didn't put their hands on anyone, but they're disrespectful. So it's okay that they get jumped by 30 people. That's not okay. It's not okay. It doesn't make it okay for someone to be an asshole or to say mean things. But at the end of the day, you got to let certain things just blow over you. You know what I mean? So in this situation, I feel like a lot of it is people looking for excuses. Well, what does Shanquilla say or do to lead to this? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Shanquilla is dead. And all of these other people are alive. And they're going to live to have more arguments and more disagreements. Shanquilla won't. So I think we need to keep that in mind. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, no arrest has been made yet. That sticks out to me because I'm wondering why not? They issued this warrant. Why hasn't Dejanay been picked up yet? Now, I know this warrant is coming from Mexico, but U.S. authorities said that they're going to work with Mexico to extradite these people to Mexico to face their charges. So I don't know if there's like a, a catch up in the system. And when Mexico issues this warrant, maybe the U.S. has to wait a certain period of time or maybe they're getting all their paperwork together. I don't know how it works, but I would think that if they knew where Dejanay was and Dejanay was being cooperative, I would think that she would have been arrested by now. I don't think you put out an arrest warrant for murder or femicide and then you allow the person to just sit at home and, hey, whenever you feel like turning yourself in, Dejanay, you come on right down to the station, all right? See you later. That's not how this works. So why hasn't she been picked up yet? Like, I don't know if it's if, if, if there's some technicalities that have to be worked out here before they get her or. Or they can't find her. I told you all from day one that I don't think this person's going to go down lightly. Why? I think they're going to give the folks a run for their money. And seeing as we haven't had an arrest yet, but we know that the arrest warrant has been out there. I mean, I can only assume that they are on the run. I don't know that for a fact, but when I'm looking at the information that I do have, that there's an arrest warrant, U.S. authorities said they're going to extradite this person. Yet this person is not in handcuffs. This person is not in jail. As far as we know, this person has not been located yet. Now, I know for a fact, a local reporter went to this person's house trying to locate them, but no one came to the door. It looked like no one was maybe even home. They're not answering the phone. They disabled all of their social media. I'm assuming they're not showing up for work. Where are they? Where are they? So because this situation is being handled by Mexican authorities, I feel like we are left in the dark about a lot of things here because we still technically don't know the name on that arrest warrant. And I don't know what steps are going to have to be taken in order to get her to Mexico. But I feel like those steps definitely have not been taken yet. And I'm just hoping that I don't know how to put it, but let's just say this. I think it's important to keep talking about this case for now, to keep pressure on this case, because this the situation can blow over. And that may sound crazy to some, but I've seen it happen before. These situations can blow over and people get away with some crazy stuff. I mean, look at the situation right now. Why is there only one arrest warrant? We know for a fact that someone in that room recorded Shanquella basically being killed and then left Shanquella high and dry in Mexico as they went back to the U.S. That's a charge. And it always blows my mind in these true crime cases. I'm not a legal expert. I'm not a cop. I'm not a lawyer. I have no, you know, extra education when it comes to the legal justice system or however you want to say it. <clears throat> but
But I know that people go to jail for way less. We talk about it on this channel all the time. I've seen cops throw the books at people, hit people with all types of technicalities. I, and when I say throw the book, I mean literally open a book and try to find other charges they can get people with. Yet when it comes to these true crime cases, when there's bodies dropping, sorry to be harsh, but when there's dead people involved, murdered people involved, it seems like cops almost go easy on these people. I can tell you for a fact that law enforcement goes easier on murderers than they do dealers and, and people who haven't paid parking tickets and stuff like that. And I mean that literally. There are people with unpaid parking tickets who have had a harder time in, elite, in the legal system in America than actual murderers or actual um, accessories to murder. Let's think about, I don't want to say the name wrong. I think it was a recent case. I think it was Ahmaud Arbery. I may have the name wrong. Ahmaud Arbery. I may be saying it wrong. Case of a jogger down in Georgia. Some people say he wasn't jogging. Some people say he was jogging. The point is he was killed on video. The person recording that video who didn't get into a physical altercation with Ahmad and didn't technically do anything physical to Ahmad, them just being there, knowing that the crime was going down and recording it, they got life in jail. Life. So it's not unheard of for someone who records someone being killed to go to jail as well. So I am confused as to why there are no charges for anyone else that was there. Because I feel like in other situations, cops would be quick to arrest you for something. And if they can't get you for something, oh, you're party to a crime. You know what I mean? It's a lesser charge, but you're party to the crime. How are the all these people not party to the crime? And I know I try to be more of an understanding and forgiving person sometimes. So I know everyone wants all six of these people to go to jail for the rest of their lives. I'm not necessarily calling for that. But I do think there needs to be some accountability. And even if you couldn't control the situation, like if I'm on a trip with you and you kill somebody, I'm not responsible for that at all. So I understand that. But it's the actions afterwards. When you know you're leaving this dead girl's body inside of a hotel room as you leave to go back to America, and then you lie about how she died. If you weren't one of the people who actually physically put your hands on Shanquella, then why lie about how she died? When you do that, then you're wrapping yourself up in the situation. Now, if you are one of the friends there, and you're like, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm going to tell whoever exactly how this went down. That's one thing. But when, when you become part of the lie when you become part of the cover-up, then you yourself are guilty of something. Even if you did nothing, you're guilty of covering it up. So I don't know why there hasn't been more warrants put out. I don't know if we will see it. I believe we probably will only see one. But I do think that other people should be held accountable, the people who were there. But as of right now, the important part to remember is this. Regardless of what you see in here, no arrest made yet. And when there is an arrest made, you will know. Let me know down in the comments below how you feel about this, though. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will talk to you all in the next video.